today's run I'm out testing the 5 litre Kerber from Harrier UK and along the beautiful Welsh coastal path absolutely stunning let's see how we get on Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to try the Kerber 5 litre from Harrier. It's the first time I'm ever, ever going to be using it, but it looks a really good, really well made bit of kit. Um, I've been looking for a smaller vest uh, for a while just to go and do uh, some training runs in. Um, I've got the Ultra coming up in three weeks' time, two, two or three weeks' time. And if this is any good, um, the kit list for the, for the Ultra is not that uh, not that big, and I reckon I can fit everything in. So I'm going to give this one a go. It's on the front. We've got I don't know if you can see it there. We've got six pouches on the front. Uh, so you can stick some gels in there. You've got a whistle as well, and even got a foam pocket, waterproof foam pocket, which um, I'm told will fit a plus size phone. Um, mine is just not just not plus size, but still big enough. And then on the other side we have one, two, three, four, five pouches on that side. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five five pouches on that side. So then obviously then you've got the the main compartment on the back. So you've got which is again which is really super super stretchy. And you've also got a separate compartment with this uh, retainer for your bladder if you're going to use the bladder. I don't use the bladder so I'll be popping the um, soft flasks in here and good to go. So like I said it's called, so if you can see that, the Curva 5 litre. Super stoked about this one. So I'm going to pack them up tonight and go on a coastal trail run tomorrow. Uh, Harrier the brand itself has not been around very long. It's uh, by Kate, Kate and she is a trail runner so that really does make a difference so she really knows what uh, what trail runners want what trail runners need and this when it's empty this is super super light i'm really looking forward to giving this a try like i said all the pockets are super stretchy it's got zips a couple of zips in there as well so you can you can tuck anything away in there and being safe in the knowledge that it's going to be uh, going to be safe it's also got the toggles for your race number if you want if you want to use that uh, when we go out on the trails tomorrow, you'll see me wearing it and we'll, uh, we'll have a little, little discussion again. See you in a bit.
Okay, so I'm eight miles and that's me done for today. So today I want to really get out and have a crack at the Kerber five litre, give it a test run. Have a look, so I'll give you a little bit of an insight uh, and a sort of a first time review. So it is early days, but so far I'm very, very impressed with it. From a brand that has only been around for, I don't know, 10 months to a year, maybe a little bit longer, not sure. But since they've come on the market, they've been de delivering some really awesome stuff, like the, the water bottles. I'm super impressed with those. I've had them for months now, and I thought I'd test out the vest. So I normally go for, for, for 10 litres, but this time I've gone for a five, so it'll be more of a training vest. And the Ultra I've got coming up, it don't need, we don't need to take much kit because there's plenty of aid stations. So I thought I might go light. So, pockets. Wow, I'm really impressed with the, the amount of pockets are on there. Each side, I think I, I counted about six on each side. Some got zipper pockets um, and the material is super stretchy. So I'm really impressed with it. Uh, so they've got two big ones at the front, zippers around the side. There's also inside here, it's, uh, it's a foam pocket, um, however, this this for me, slight downside, but only very slight, is that when you've got a full flask in there, it's very difficult to get your phone in. The pocket itself is massive, as but if you if you were, if you have a full water, uh, water bottle, a flask, it is difficult to get in and out. So hence, mine's in the I put mine on the in the front pocket, but like I say, there's so many pockets. You're spoiled for choice to put stuff in. Um, sizing, I'm a large, so this is a large vest. It'll fit a uh, 42 to 44 inch chest, um, and you've got the adjustable straps on there. Um, it's very snug, but that's how I like my running vest. I like them to be slightly snug so they don't jump around. So this for me is perfect size. Uh, I'm not sure whether where the Harry is gonna go for a, an extra large or extra extra large. Uh, but I think anybody sort of bigger than me, sort of 44, 40, uh, 44 size chest, they would need to go up a size. But overall, super, super impressed. I've got a fair bit of kit in there already. Uh, I'll show you later on. When we get back home, I'll show you what I've got in there. Okay, thanks for coming along. Okay, so what I'm going to go through now is, so I've got the Kerber 5 litre, like I said. Um, I'm just going to run through what I'm going to pack for, for my Ultra. Like I said, it is quite a, a small kit list for, the, for this Ultra. There are quite a lot of um, uh, aid stations along the way, so you don't really need to carry much. So first of all, I have my, my waterproof trousers. So they would go in first, and they go in the main compartment. Stuff all the way down. That out. I've also got a, a, a two litre dry bag and in here I will put my a spare pair of socks, always good to have a spare pair of socks. Um, also in here I've got a, a hat, hat and gloves which are in there as well so nice nice and nice and uh, compact so I'll stick those in. I've also got a mini first aid kit and in this first aid kit very very essential that I've got the um, blister plasters in there. Uh, there's also a whistle in there, but there's also a whistle attached to the pack, so I don't really need an extra whistle, but it's, it comes with the, the first aid kit. I've also got my compass, that's on the on the kit list. So that will also go in. Um, and that's all I've with my dry bag. So I'll fold this over, clipping back on itself, and then that will be the same compartment. We'll pop them in there. Nice, nice and secure. Now close them up. So that's all that's going to be in the back part. Um, also, what I'm going to take with me, I've got some refreshing uh, wet wipes and also some sort of, sort of hand tissues just in case I need those. That I will stick in this oh, quite a big pouch. I know I'm going to put in that pouch, I won't put that in there. So in in the front here we've got some zippers so they can that will slot in there that'll flip around the side quite easy 
Like I said, the zipper on the back. Waterproof jacket, that's perfect for that. It'll slip in quite nicely because it's quite compact, quite a compact uh, jacket. So let's push it all the way in. It's actually going in a lot easier than I thought. Making sure that it goes up, up in all the uh, all in the little crevices. Perfect. That's a lovely, ah, lovely. And then in the front, all that's left for me to do is my nutrition. So in here, in the uh, the Harrier soft flasks, I'll take my Tailwind. It's not they're not filled up yet, so I just put a bit of air in them, and they will slot nicely into the pouches at the front. I say all of these pouches are super super stretchy. That is a pack. It's actually you can fit an awful lot in there for, for such a small pack. You can fit a lot in there. But like I said, what I wanted to show you was, see, there's some uh, some little stretchy loops here. You can stick that over that so you can stop that from uh, from floating away. Uh, or in, in, under this one here. So keeps it in, stops it from smashing into your face. So there's a couple of loops there as well. There's also a couple of loops to t to that you can put your poles on and there's also some toggle loops at the back which you can put your poles on if you're taking poles and you can also have on the front there's got some toggles to put your race vest uh, race number on there i'm super stoked to try this um like i said i've had my eye on on this bit of kit i've had my eye on this bit of kit now for, for a couple of months uh be speaking to kate they've been doing some trials on it to get it right so I'm going to take this out on a long run tomorrow and I'll feed back to Kate of, of uh, how it performs. But looking at it, it's well made, super stretchy, so I have a big plan for this one.